Now I'm just dry fitting this bit here. So I might recut this pipe, I don't think it's quite long enough to make it nice and neat, but that's what I'm going to do next. Remember we dry fit everything first. We go around and dry, dry fit everything first. But let me tell you a little tip. Make sure you go back and glue every single fitting because there's nothing more disastrous than in three weeks time, one join you didn't glue and it bursts open and in the middle of the night you lose all your water and your fish die. Now, that's just a disaster as you can imagine. And believe you me, it will only happen in the middle of the night, usually on a Sunday night about 12 o'clock. So make sure you go back all your dry joints have got to be glued. Now we'll do the next bit, once again dry fitting. When you dry fit everything it makes it easy for you to just follow through in a sequence and make sure you get everything just right. Okay we want this to be nice and neat so we'll try to do a really good job of this. We'll cut it off about there. Remember you've got to allow enough for the pipe to go into the fitting. So I should do the right thing and use my trusty pencil and mark the place I want to cut it. Which is right there. What they say, measure once, cut twice. No, that's wrong. Measure twice, cut once. I knew I had something wrong there. Okay, we'll get this right. Let's dry fit it. Perfect, look at that. That's going to glue up really, really well. Working our way back down along the line here, all the way back to the fish tank, doing each join one at a time. We don't want to go around and do this join and then jump over there and do that join and jump over there and do that join because that's how you miss one. So you've got to start at the end and we're going to go work our way slowly but surely. Now this time I'm going to put down a piece of rag first, like I should have done in the first place, so that I don't actually spill any glue on this lovely new concrete work that's here. Once again, it doesn't matter if we coat the inside of the, the joiner or the inside of the pipe, it doesn't matter. It'll still work anyway. You've got to be quick because that solvent, see that's, that's stuck already. That solvent quickly evaporates away and you lose it in no time at all. Now, as you can see, it's all a bit flip floppy now, but we'll fix that when we're finished and we'll put some, some um, pipe clamps on it, you know, just to hold it in place. Because you've got this lovely timber here, we'll be able to put a nice clamp over that just to hold it nice and firm so that nobody trips over it and breaks their neck. So we work our way along the line, doing one joint at a time. The trick is with this glue is to be quick with it because the solvent that's in it evaporates out very quickly. It's gone in just a few seconds actually. Now this is the hard one to do because it's up against the wall so we'll have to just be a bit clever with this one and spring it in. Okay once again not too much glue on everything but make sure you get glue on all the surfaces and then we'll just spring it into place. Push it in tight. See that? Good. It's great. Believe it or not, that glue is already partly set. It doesn't take long and all the solvent will be gone. So many people write about that on my forum. They ring up and they say, wow, my pipe burst in the middle of the night and I lost all my water and my fish all died. And it's because they didn't make sure they did their joints correctly. Terrible. <laughs>